Hello and welcome to one more video tutorial from Kendri Academy. My name is Sashwat, Irojukatar. And in this video, particularly, we are going to talk about M's test. Okay? So, you all have heard about this test. This is M's test. This is used to perform to find out if chemical is mutagen or not. So, all of you know that most of the mutagens are carcinogen. So, you, you are using in our life, in our uh, experimental procedures, lots of chemicals, lots of reagents and all. So, to find out the particular chemical, particular reagent, okay, and a particular thing is a mutagen or not. To find out, you have to do M's test. So, as you know, they all carcinogens are mutagen, but not all mutagens are carcinogens. So, mutagen, what is mutagen? Any any substance that can cause a mutation in your DNA is called a mutagen. So this mutation can lead to cancer. So which mutagen, which mutation leads to cancer, then mutagens are known as your carcinogen. So this carcinogenic substance, to find out the carcinogenic substance, the used to perform the test, the test is known as M's test. So Basically, this first this test was first developed by Bruce and Ames in 1970. Based on his name, this test was given name as Ames test. Okay, so this test is a, it's for chemical that is mutagen or not. A chemical is particularly mutagen chemical or it's not. So this principle is based on the principle of reverse mutation or back mutation. So. What is the reverse mutation? Reverse mutation or mutations, okay, where if one mutation, suppose don't forget about this mutagen or any carcinogen, just first think of mutation. What is the mutation? Any mutation that can cause you, okay, that can cause a damage in your particular DNA. Sometimes in some bacteria, there is some reverse mutation is there. So what happened after one mutation, that uh, the damage of DNA, it can be recovered by a reverse mutation or a big mutation. So this is, this is, this principle is based on the reverse mutation or big mutation. Okay, so this is a principle only. Don't think about that here. Any mutation can be repaired with this reverse mutation. Okay, it's not we are not repairing any mutation by this reverse mutation. This is based on the principle only. So this test is also known as the bacterial reverse mutation assay because the reverse mutation mostly found in bacteria. So based on this particular assay is to perform. So so reverse mutation is we are focusing on reverse mutation so the organism the test animal test organism we have to take is here is several strain of bacteria so if you take a bacteria then you can find is the particular is this reverse mutation is happening or not okay because that's why you have to take some particular bacteria such as your salmonella or e coli okay that carry a particular mutation okay, as i told you the reverse mutation can Repair a particular mutation. Suppose if you, if you have a bacteria, okay, this bacteria have a mutation in a particular gene. You know this bacteria is a mutation in this particular gene. If there is a reverse mutation, this gene may be repaired. Okay, this mutation can be repaired. If mutation is repairing means what? One more mutation we are introducing. Okay, so already mutation is there. We know already mutants. You have mutants. Okay, so you will take. You have to. So apply our particular chemical who we are susceptible that it, it, it is a mutagen so after uh, you are adding a, a chemical if there is suppose one more mutation occurs then mutation may recover this particular mutation whatever was there in before so the bacteria which are negative strain for the particular gene they will become now positive strain okay so okay so for example here we to take the salmonella okay is to take salmonella in a, a bacteria you all of you know salmonella type a okay is a bacterium for typhoid diseases so here what we will do we will we have there is it we will take such bacteria salmonella okay which are mutated for a particular amino acid which is histidine which is an essential amino acid yes means it, you have to take it it can prepare okay but, but for human you, you can't prepare histidine but for bacteria, they can prefer histidine if their histidine is not there in a particular gene, okay, particular uh, bacteria. So what happens? It without histidine medium, it can't able to grow in a particular medium. So in the medium, it need histidine. Okay, it means it's a histidine oxidotroph. 
Okay, so these are called as histidine oxytrope. Okay, oxytrope for histidine. Oxytrope means what? They can produce a particular amino acid, a particular thing from in their cell, but they have to take it from outside the medium, means from the medium. So if the medium doesn't contain histidine, so that the bacteria with with, uh, with, uh, with this negative with the mutation in the histidine gene, they will take the Histidine from in the particular medium. If you can't, will not provide histidine in the particular medium, then the bacteria will die. They can't. Okay, they can't. They can't. Uh, they can't able to reproduce there. They can't able to grow there. Okay. So, culturing histidine stain media containing chemical such cause mutation of histidine coding gene so that region of their ability synthesize histidine means that suppose this is a histidine negative. You know, histidine oxytrope. Okay, then we have to grow the histidine oxytrope of this bacteria with a particular mutagen which we are thinking till now is not fine as mutagen means you can say subsepted this particular chemical is subsepted as a mutagen if you grow the bacteria with particular our subsepted uh, uh, chemicals then if there is a mutation with, is, there means that is a reverse mutation already is mutation is there before so it is histidine not, not, not there one more mutation means it is a reverse mutation between this reverse mutation the ability of bacteria will change they can easily grow in the histidine negative medium so we can easily find out that so this m state is used to test the mutability of various substances so here we will see the basic basic procedure to find out a particular chemical uh, which mutation or not first you have to grow your salmonella typhi which is mutated in histidine okay histidine is a as amino acid all of you know so mutation in the histidine gene which bacteria have to grow them in a histidine medium okay we will provide histidine here okay they are have to grow lots of bacteria approximately 10 to 8 you have to cell we need so approximately up to 8 cell added to the agar with nutrient but no histidine okay so here what happened already you grow here with histidine because they require histidine then only they will grow then you have to play it in a agar, agar medium which this agar medium these are histidine negative okay so these two are histidine negative means in this two medium two agar plate histidine is not there histidine not there means what these are histidine oxytrope they need histidine from the media means they can't able to grow if they are able to grow means the particular your substance is mutagen means after adding histidine uh, plating the bacteria okay in this particular medium containing without histidine okay so here then you have to add here your particular mutagen susceptible mutagen to add our susceptible mutagen here so that the bacteria will get mutation then you have to incubate for another 12 hours in particular temperature that is 37 degrees celsius okay so in this particular temperature after you after adding your particular chemical if the histidine if they sorry if the cell the bacteria can grow they provide lots of replication will be that lots of cells are actually found lots of bacteria will found means there is a mutation already done diverse mutation if there is a found if you found very less number of bacteria very few or no okay then this chemical doesn't did any mutation Clear. If mutation is there, then histidine negative becomes histidine positive, and they can easily grow in histidine negative medium. So after adding your your particular chemical, they become histidine positive, and they can able to grow in a histidine negative medium. Means your chemical is causing some mutation. Clear. So easy. This this with this procedure, you can easily able to find that a particular chemical is mutagen or not. Okay, so this is also a very important part for a CSR examination. So try to focus in this. This is a very sim simple experiment. Okay, till then. And this, what is the application? How, how we can do this application? Most is particular M states you to screen chemical mutagens that cause mutation and carcinogenic to human. It is most of the mutagens are carcinogenic to find out a particular chemical. Mostly here we look at the chemical only. Okay, it is susceptible mutants in large population of bacteria with high sensitivity. So we can use for large sensitivity. It's very sensitive for lots of bacteria. So it is very uh, what useful useful for for this experiment. It is test a mutagenicity that not carcinogenicity. However, most of the mutagens are carcinogen. Means is saying that most of the mutagens means 
म्हणजे जर का कसं यु नो बट इफ यू फाउंड दॅट ए पर्टिक्युलर केमिकल इज म्युटेजन इट डजंट मीन दॅट इट इज अ कार्सिनोजेनिक एजंट इट कॅन कॉज युअर कॅन्सर सो बट मोस्ट ऑफ द म्युटेजन सर कार्सिनोजेन सो यू कॅन हॅव अ रेस अगेन यू कॅन से दॅट दिस दिस केमिकल मे रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर टू कॉज कॅन्सर सो वी कॅन बी व्हेरी what we we take very precautions on this particular chemical it is a bacterial reverse mutation assay so the defective gene of the bacteria can be mutated in a into a functional gene so clear everyone so thank you and have a good day